Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday the 15th and I've already tried this once in case it rang, so I'm trying again. <laughs> um, today, I know I said yesterday that I wanted to get the 5D diamond painting done um, and what else did I say I wanted to get done? I think that was the main thing. Um, I'm just exporting yesterday's vlog, but as you can see, I've got the iron and ironing board out because today I want to make some face coverings um, as of um, I can't remember if it was Monday or Friday that's really bad isn't it but I heard a story that from Monday we have to wear face coverings and then I watched the news yesterday and it said as of next Friday um, so <laughs> I'm a bit confused but anyway as of Monday um, that is in my thinking, but as soon as I've made a face mask, I will wear it in the shops and everything um, So yeah today I am um, Attempting to make some face coverings. I've watched some YouTube videos. I have actually got a um, I don't even know what I did with it um, a thing <laughs> um, a template for a mask um, I do have a shop bought mask that Ian kindly bought me a few days ago um, and that is in my handbag. It's been in my handbag since he bought it for me. Um, and it's just plain grey. And it's really nice. It's washable, reusable and all that. So I thought, well, if I can make at least a couple more, then at least I've got a couple. So then that way I don't have to um, wear the same mask the day after, if that makes sense. I can wash them in between. Um, I have some elastic, I don't have a lot, so I'm going to try and make what I can with what I've got. I've got plenty of material, um, and it's just fat quarters that I got from Aldi a little while ago, and I've got some other material that I can use as well. Um, <clears throat> so I thought I would try and make um, at least two or three today, um, and see how we go. Um, I've spoken to Casey this morning and we are planning on going bingo again tonight uh, just because obviously my mum's going to Spain Saturday morning, really early morning so for me she'll be gone Friday really, um, last day Friday which is not tomorrow the day after um, so we're going to try and go bingo again tonight and then we was going to Chesington tomorrow but I've just spoken to Casey and Chloe has um, Merlin passes as she actually works for um, she used to work for Orton Towers I think um, and there's certain times of the year that she can't use the Merlin passes and they've emailed her today to say that she can't use the passes at Chesington uh, she might be able to use them at Legoland, so we might be going Legoland instead. Um, but I'm sure that we'll try and go somewhere tomorrow um, and enjoy the day if we can. So, yeah. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, light bulbs have arrived. I haven't put them in yet, but they will be done. Uh, at some point today, I will be putting new bulbs in my light. So we won't be sitting in the dark thinking, I need to turn the light on. Oh no, it's already on. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was quite funny yesterday. I said to me, you know, I just feel like I want to stand up and put the light on. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> hopefully these ones will be okay. Um, we'll just have to wait and see and see how long they last. But uh, I've got my sewing machine out, which is in this bag here. And all my material and cutting stuff and bits and pieces are in there. Uh, the elastic is, I think, in that bag as well. So, um I'm sure it's in that bag. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and cut out a template on a piece of paper. I think that might be best. Uh, upload this video first and then I can move the laptop and sort of do all my cutting and everything first. And that's what I'm going to try and do. Now I did watch a video which was really, really simple. You just literally cut. It wasn't a square, I don't think. Or was it? Was it a 20 by 20 square? Um two pieces of material you put the elastic on the inside go all the way around um and then you do the um pleats and whatever it was really simple so i think i might just follow that and see how i get on i have also printed a template for a um not the pleated mask but the sort of it reminds me of a um a bicycle mask thing like shape 
so I printed a template for that as well. Might try one of those, we'll see how we go and see how we go for time because obviously I want to go out later. Ian said that the traffic out there is horrendous, there's been a massive accident on the A406 which is literally down the road um, and they've actually uh, shut the A406 and their police are making the cars turn around um, on the 406 to go up to the junction and then back on themselves so they're driving the wrong way up the road but obviously the, the road is closed so that's obviously the best way for them to get out of the traffic um, so that's a little bit crazy Ian was stuck going the other way thankfully really um, so the way he was going the road wasn't closed but he did do a little detour and then back onto the 406 so He's managed to get out of the traffic now, but uh, I'm just going to upload this video so you can all watch yesterday's and um, I'm going to get cutting some material. So I got all my um, material out and some of it is here, some of it's here. Um, the stuff that is not big enough, I've just put on the sofa down there, uh, but I have decided to make three so far and they are going to be... Um, so this material here, and I'm thinking this might be the front, um, the, the masks that I'm making are reversible so um, you can wear them either way. I've decided to use this red and this uh, blue and I thought that would look quite nice. Even um, if Ian wanted to wear that one it would look quite nice. And then I've got lots of this owl material. Uh, and I've made bags out of this. Um, I've made bags out of most of this material. <laughs> and I've got pink to go with this one. So um, they are the three that I'm going to be making. I've also got some material here that I, I'm not making anything with at, like today. Um, I'm going to see how these go first. So I've just got some hearts, um, some yellow teardroppy type things uh, some more this is more of, of a peach um, and I have got enough of that but not for today I, I'm pla not planning on do it, doing it anything with it today a yellow plane um, some leaves on plain a green uh, leaves <laughs> on yellow sorry um, some green some checked is it gingham uh, some blue and then some leaves on the blue as well um, I don't really wear that much yellow or anything so these I'm going to find it quite difficult to um, actually make anything with so these three so I might even um, sort of match it up to um, and the green I don't I don't really wear green either so uh, I might even match it up with like a blue or something um, and have the yellow as the inside if they go to plan so I'm going to iron and cut the material I have um, cut a template just out of paper so I can pin it to the material and cut it and then I need to cut the elastic but first of all let's do this So I now have my two pieces of material. Um, if you see me struggling a little bit, that is <laughs> that is because um, I'm left-handed and I only have right-handed scissors. Um, so yeah, that's why. <laughs> but I have my two pieces of 20 by 20 material. I'm going to set up the sewing machine now and sew this together. Okay, so the sewing machine is set up. I'm no professional at this, but um, I thought I would just bring you along on my journey um, so I have got a different sewing machine to what I used before now this is the sewing machine that my sister has um, given me and she said that I'm more likely to use it than she is my other sewing machine that Ian's mum gifted or well, gave me um, is in, actually in the loft um, there is a bit of a problem with it where if the needle is up like this you can't just automatically use the um, the foot pedal to make it go again you have to put the needle into the fabric um, and I 
do know that some machines are like that but it's really annoying <laughs> so um this is just a better machine and i thought i would use this anyway so i have cut my elastic i have um got my pieces of material that i'm going to pin together with my new clips that have recently come and i'm also going to pin the elastic um it doesn't say to pin the elastic in the um tutorial but i'm thinking this might just be an easier way of doing it no that is wrong isn't it yes denise that is wrong <laughs> um well i don't know whether it will be easier actually because it's not let's just try so yeah let's get on and try and do this oh see the problem that i've got now is the elastic is not as long as the bit of material so i'm thinking that this might not work the way that I want it to. It says in the pattern to um, not actually stitch across. Um, a part of the bottom so let's start here move the machine the problem i've got is my shelf doesn't let me um let the machine go back any further i'm just using a white cotton um thread because that's what was in the machine um and i've only got i've only got really white black navy and yellow so none of those colors will really go with this um but i'm going in wish me luck <laughs> So here is my square with the elastic inside so I'm hoping that it's worked. I've got a little hole here to um, fold it back through so let's do that now. It's a very small hole <laughs> but um, we'll get there. Ta-da! <laughs> so this is it so far. I just need to iron it and put the pleats in and then iron down, uh, uh, sew down the sides. So let's go and do that next. So I'm just making the pleats now. Um, I think I've probably done them a bit too big. So let me iron that back out. It says four inches, but that is quite a lot that's like halfway up so let's say do one about here see I'm just lightly pressing it as well so it's not too much and then I might be able to get three pleats in I'm hoping what another one oh let's clip the edges these clips have spent more time on the floor than they have <laughs> in my hand so up there I've never used these before. Not there. Right, okay, so that's that one. And then maybe one more. 
that there, so let's just press that. down, measure either side of this, just under four, just under four, right so let's go and sew these side seams down. really pleased with it whether it fits I don't know but it, it does pop out um, I might just give it another iron but let's see how well it fits <laughs> you can't even see me now can you so this is how it is fitting me it is quite big um, but it does sort of go all the way down. Um, I could have done the ear things pro probably a little bit longer. Um, they're not right at the top either. So um, they're right at the top here. Let me try and turn it round. Um, is that any better? But it is quite a big mask actually and I'm glad that I didn't do the bigger size um, because that would have been humongous uh, but there is obviously room for it to pleat a little bit so it's sort of more protection. I'm really pleased with it! Um, I'm going to sew another one, see how that comes out. I'm not going to film that just because <laughs> it's, oh, it's hot under there. It takes ages. <laughs> Now it's a blindfold. <laughs> um, it takes ages to actually set up the camera, film it and everything. But um, I'm going to do a couple more, see how they come out. It's not brilliant, but at the end of the day, it's an essential. And um, I just thought making a couple might help. <laughs> so I'm going to make a couple more. I will let you know how I get on. Uh, for some reason, as you can see, I've got more of a gap here than I have on the side. And the same there. But uh, never mind, we'll just go with it and um, I'm pleased with it, that's the main thing. So the saga of the light bulbs has been resolved. We have had a delivery of our light bulbs <laughs> and uh, so I've put them in and they're working so that's all good. Um, I have finished three face masks. So this is the first one, this is the, one, the first one that I made and I did the um, string on the inside. This is how it fits. Um, it's very, very big. <laughs> it's more like a blindfold. Um, but it does sort of go all the way under. And I did think that the um, elastic was a little bit tight. But it's not really. I think it will stretch over time. Um, I, For some reason, this one is a lot bigger. I don't think I did the pleats maybe as deep. I don't know. Um, but this is the first one. Then the second one that I did, I used the red and the blue material my pleats are not perfect <laughs> they're wonky um i discovered on this one that the sewing machine pulled one of the pleats as it was sewing um so it didn't really come out properly so this should have been a lot deeper pleat has come out a little bit wonky like here um so the pleats should be like that but they've it's the sewing machine they sort of grabbed the material before i could pull it and i was like never mind uh, so this one fits uh, like this and it's quite nice and I don't think it's going to pull too much um, to be honest for how long I'll be wearing one of these um, I don't think it will be too bad so that is number two then number three 
I learnt from my mistakes <laughs> um, and I have made this one so this is number three it's a little bit more square the pleats are a little bit more even um, probably easier to see on this side and um, also on these last two I didn't put the elastic inside and so sew, sewed it I put it on the outside and just used the sewing machine to go backwards and forwards a couple of times um, I did sew this one down and I was like oh no I've done it wrong I've sort of made them come on the inside but to be honest it doesn't really matter because it's sort of going round the side of your head anyway so that don't really matter um, and again this one fits like this which I am really pleased with um, there's a little bit of uh, cotton here where I've sewn like where you have to fold it inside out um, but I'm really pleased with these and I do want to get some more elastic um, I sort of reused some of elastic that was um, I was chucking away basically of on clothes um, so what I'm gonna do is try and make some more and um, because you never know how many you're gonna need and I want to wear them once and wash them so I don't want to re-wear them uh, the one that I got from the shop that Ian bought me is just like this and it opens up so whoops you just sort of wear it like that there is a bit of wire or something in here to push on the the nose part um, but this one just sort of sits like that and this one is quite comfortable I do want to try and get some of this round elastic as I think that's more comfortable than this flat elastic and they do say the smaller the better um, but like I said I'm only going to be wearing them in shops um, and I'm not going to be in the shops for too long hopefully um, I think the longest shop I'll probably be in is when I go supermarket or something like that but I do want quite a few just to make sure that I've got maybe in, definitely in my handbag and maybe like one in the car just as an emergency um, so yeah I do want to try and get a few more elastics um, and to be honest the elastics on this they're all pretty like the same size um, so I am really happy with these um, sorry it's been sort of a rambly little clip um, I need to sort my hair out so bad um, I, I was going to wash it today but then I thought mm, can I be bothered no so I might wash it later when I get home um, it is only two o'clock we are going bingo tonight uh, so I will take a mask with me just in case that we need to wear one in the bingo last week we didn't have to wear one and when we was in our, on our table we didn't have to wear anything um, but I think sort of being close up to people maybe it might just be a good idea to put one on um, I'm going to do a little bit of 5D diamond painting now, hopefully to try and get um, some of this top bit done and I'll probably leave here in about half an hour. I've made a coffee so I can um, just sit here, I've sort of tidied up, <laughs> uh, I, well I have tidied up my, my mess and I've put my uh, cardigan that was on the floor in here onto the bed, uh, just so obviously I had room to do bits and pieces today, I have the ironing board out and so on. Uh, I don't know when Aldi are going to have more material in. Um, and like I said uh, before, I know these are not um, sort of health grade masks or whatever. I, I don't really know what you call them. Um, I know I could probably buy some filters as well, but then how would I put the filter in there? I could always sort of put it on the a little pocket on the inside possibly um, and then put a filter in but for now these are just face coverings I do not get close to anyone anyway when I'm shopping I try and keep my distance um, and it's, Ian did say oh they're not like um, they're not like the proper mask I said no I know they're not but they're better than nothing um, and so yeah, um, let me know your thoughts on handmade masks, I suppose. Um, like I said, they're better than nothing. And for now, I think um, for what I'm doing, I'm not with the public all the time. Um, and I am just going, just popping into shops to get essentials and whatever. I, ha I think that 
only shops I've really been in recently have been Tesco. I went into B&M. Um, we went into Curry's when we got my uh, iPad. Well, the three of us got an iPad. Um, but we was all distancing and, and being careful. So there is a lot of that at the moment of distancing and being careful and things like that. So it's all good. Anyway, I've rambled on for far too long. <laughs> I will... Um, do some 5D diamond painting. Uh, there was nothing else I really wanted to get done today. Um, I did say yesterday I was going to dye some yarn, but I haven't done that. It is Wednesday. We didn't have our Zoom meet. I completely forgot about it, and um, most people weren't available anyway, so I might do it. Um, I know I can't do it tomorrow, but maybe one day. I don't know maybe after tomorrow, maybe Friday, um, I don't really know what I'm doing Friday, so we'll just have to do, wait and see, anyway, I'm gonna go, uh, like I keep saying, and stop rambling, yeah, <laughs> so I've just got to my sister's, Ollie is down there, and look at the state of him, <laughs> he's obviously been eating something red, Ollie, 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 hello darling, um, so yeah, uh, my mum thinks it was either cherries or strawberries or some sort of berry. Uh, Mikey's over here asleep. Uh, Casey's gone to get Mike and my mum's popped upstairs. So yeah, um, we'll probably be leaving, well not too early. I don't want to get there as early as the other day, really. Got there at about five, I think, half five. Or was it uh, not as early as that? I can't remember now. About half five, I think. Um... So, but I have got my knitting, so that's all good. And I've got my iPad, if I'm going to do some drawing. Because um, I really need to get my finger out for doing bits and pieces like that. So, um, Ollie's on, he's on the run. He's actually crawling properly now. Go on in. Go on in. So yeah, he's getting around and he likes my shoes. I think because they're sparkly. These are the shoes that I got for my birthday last year. They're just really comfy. So back from bingo, didn't win anything again. Uh, oh sorry, we called up, uh, my mum called up on £20 so yeah, which is not a lot really so we split it and yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm now home it's 10 to 10 and I've just been getting my stuff ready for tomorrow. Uh, I did say in my vlog, I think it was yesterday, was it today? I think it was yesterday, I can't remember, uh, that we were going to Chesington. Um, that's been changed. We are now going to Legoland. Uh, Chloe was able to, unable to get tickets for um, Chesington World of Adventures, uh, but she could get tickets for Legoland. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I'm sure I've said this this morning. But anyway, so we're going Legoland tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to my sister's in the morning and we're leaving from there. Um, and then, yeah, I think it's only open till four o'clock. Uh, so I think we're going to have like, we're going to try and get there for ten when it opens. So we're going to have six hours because it shuts at four. Or the ride shut at four and then the actual park closes at five. Something like that. Um... So we'll have a good few hours to try and do some rides. Um, I was just sort of wondering what to wear. <laughs> uh, but I'm thinking of just wearing leggings and a t-shirt, like a, a top, because I think that will be more comfortable. And uh, yeah, so I'm just getting that ready. I've also got the GoPro ready. So if I do go on any rides or anything, um, I will use that instead of this camera because I don't want that one getting broken, <laughs> or this one getting broken, sorry. I don't want the GoPro to get broken, but like I said, it's a bit more durable. Um, and it's like an action, like the GoPro is an action camera, so uh, little knocks and things shouldn't damage it. Um, so I was just sort of getting my bag ready for the morning, because I'm leaving early. Uh, it's going to take just over an hour to get there, I think. Um, so I think we're going to leave, my mum said we're going to leave at about half eight get there for half nine, park up and like get the kids out of the car and whatever, whatever. So hopefully it will be okay. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This probably won't be edited until 
tomorrow night because uh, I'm not going to do it now and I'm not going to do it tomorrow morning unless I'm really up really 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 early <laughs> at like crack of dawn early which I very much doubt so but thank you for watching I hope today's been uh, a little bit more interesting with me making the uh, the face mask this morning uh, and things like that and hopefully tomorrow will be even better but we shall see thank you for watching and I shall see you tomorrow bye